Alright guys, welcome back. This is Shadow Drake, and so the next topic is Rocketry. So, yes. This is available. This is something you can do. And contrary to popular, or contrary to what you may think, this is not a late game thing. So, no. It is actually something you can build roughly around the time that you finish making your first batch of alloys. Now... Delving in rocketry is kind of like a very comprehensive uh, knowledge check for quite a lot of systems. And that's only because right now, rockets are... You have to build the entire internals for everything. Uh, previously, the way the rocketry system worked is you had pre pretty much section uh, fuse lodges. Your fuse lodges were sectionalized. Like, for example, you always began with the engine pad. Then you had a fuel fuse lodge and then you probably had like a dedicated minor fuse lodge uh then you know cargo storage and y you know stuff like that uh topped off by an avionics and you can only build up to a certain size now that's changed uh if somewhere about a, 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 a Shortly after phase change, I would say about six months after that, possibly, uh, we got the new rocket system. And what's different about these is not much has changed. But, as you can tell, once I deconstruct the uh, outer shell of this, the rocket is pretty much exactly how, how it works. It depends entirely on how you build it. Whoops, not the engine. Don't want to... And so as you can see, you basically still have the same sort of things. You still have your engine. Then you yourself have to plan out how you're going to lay in the piping for the fuel, uh, miners, cargo controls, uh, scanner modules, and of course batteries to power your rocket. So this is all up to you to construct. And it doesn't have to be as large as this. It can be a short. It could be a two fuse large rocket with very compact uh, fuel scanning and mining. Uh, and of course, you do have the option for putting IC tens for automating how your rocket controls. But that is something that is not necessary. Let me show you how the interface looks like when you're going to be sending your rocket out into space and how you actually control it by hand. One sec. Alright, so now to control your rocket, which as you can see from this window here, uh, all you really need is a computer with the rocket motherboard inside it. Now, there is some uplinks and downlinks that are needed so that you can connect to your rocket so that your computer can see it, but you know, I'll go in great details later. And so when you pull up the computer, you basically have a three tab interface that you can use to see what is going on in your rocket what the space map looks like, and what your current locate, what possible actions you can do in your current location that it's at. So, for example, for this, you know, if we go to the rocket tab, you basically see some information such as gravity, uh, how your rocket is doing when you turn on engines or anything like that, uh, how much mass it is, the weight of the rocket, and this will all come into play so that you can be a true rocket scientist and stationers, but it is it is much simple, it is very simplified, and, you know, I'll go over a lot of the details, but, you know, you have your engine as well, so that when you turn it on, it fires the engines, and you get a thrust out so that your rocket can go places, you have miners that you can put in. You have cargo storage that you can use to uh, uh, for mining. Uh, you have scanners, and of course you have batteries and you know optional celestial tracker. That's you know stuff like that. So, what is so in short? You can control your rocket from here, and again, you can be as detailed as you want. Uh, up at the top, you have the ability to have the rocket automatically shut off things that shouldn't be on when it reaches destinations, you know, on or off. And then you have the auto lander, which is currently disabled for me because I have my own personal landing script. But when you have it enabled, it shows you what it shows. What is the confidence that this rocket will successfully execute a landing maneuver based on the starting altitudes? You know, I'll go over that in much greater detail later. But you know, just trying to familiarize yourself that this is this is the rocket interface. 
You can uh, favorite specific items so that you have more access to them. You can also favorite specific uh, data points for each of these things so that you can more clearly see what's going on with your rocket. And so overall, this is just what it looks like. Now, when we get to the space map, and this is a modded space map for myself, you know, the, the, you have absolutely zero locations but one, and that is going to be the orbit site for your world. Now, this is going to be different because this is an option this is an alternate space start but essentially you will have somewhere to go and that will be your first location for your rocket and to move around to the map you just find the location hit set destination and now you have to actually turn on your engine and so when you do that your rocket will basically lift off to that destination ooh that cost some fires yeah and when we go back to the rocket tab, you see information like what's the current thrust, what's its speed, how long will it get there, you know, how, you know, all of that information that's helpful to understand what your rocket is actually doing, as well as how much fuel is left inside your rocket. So once it's there, shutting that engine off. Now, when you get to a destination, you know, your rocket can't really travel anywhere else. You have to use your scanner modules that you have to fit in there to find new locations. And since my rocket is in a new location, I can go to the location tab and you can see that I can chart potential locations. So if I hit to do chart, it's going to discover new places that the rocket can travel to and it tells you the progress for what happens like for example the scanners have a strength of 30 so each full 20 second bar of this will give 30 points towards charting and depending on how much charting progress you have determines what new locations you can have so as you can see the very first location I can have is crash site and when we go back to the map you see whoa there is another location we can go to so you can do the same thing. You can hit set your destination to a new, brand new location, and then you can have your rocket travel to that location. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it travel there right now. And same thing as before. It'll travel. It'll take some time. Rocketry is a little bit of waiting as your rocket actually has to travel in, quote, space. So yeah, so now that we're on a completely different location, you see that I also have more possible places I can go. When we look at the location chart uh, tab, you can see, that, oh wait, I can chart extra locations. You know, if I had the thing, the scanner on, any scanner on, I can chart extra locations. Uh, Or I can actually start to discover resource sites. And that's the other part of it. I see in the location tabs you have something called site discovery. I see I charted all the locations. And on site discoveries it tells you what possible mining sites you can find at this location. And as you can tell the way this is set up I, you, I can either have metallic debris that has a combination of iron, copper, and lead. Or metallic debris that has a combination of iron or steel. Or I could find glass debris. That's a combination of steel and silicon, or glass debris, that's a combination of iron and silicon. So essentially, when you discover new locations to travel to, you can always look up at the location information, look at site discovery, and see just what is possible, what possible things you can mine from such locations. And that applies for any space maps. Alright, so now that I got a site let's go over how to actually go grab something so we're gonna tell my rocket to travel to the very first location that it has and it's gonna take some time to get there of course and we're there so now that we're at our location you can see that I could actually mine it but now we don't know what is here and so that's what the survey action would be for so the survey action with scanners is allows you to figure out just what is in this location uh, because this is a modest space map, this location could have one of two possible or dispositions. You know, it could have the lead or it could have whatever the other one was that I completely forgot. And so that's what survey is for. As we fill it out, you see that this site has a composition of iron and steel. 
It has a density of 2.48, has a richness of a 1.81, and it has a size of 3.62. Now, all these numbers matter for mining, but to truly know just how good a site this is, you can compare it to the to the parent site that would generate it. So, for example, this metallic debris that has iron and steel, you see that the size can range from 2 to 4, density from 2 to 4, and richness from 1 to 2. Rem uh, as you can tell, size from 2 to 4, you see that this is 3.62, so that's at the upper end, so that's a good site. Density is 2.48, that's kind of on the lower end, so not great. Richness is close to 2, so we're probably doing pretty good. And all three of these affect just how good the site is. Density determines just how many resources are there, and it affects how long it takes your miners to mine from there. Size gives you the base yield. Oh. Yeah, size gives you the base yield, and it tells how fast these two parameters will degrade per mining action. And richness is a massive bonus to the yield so that you can get extra resources from the size, you know, based on the size, so long as richness lasts. And richness will degrade pretty quickly, but it can, but chasing a high richness asteroids or is a good way to build up your cargo really quickly. However, doing so means you're spending more fuel, fuel traveling from site to site. And this is where rocketry is a long-term waiting game like this is something you tell your rocket to go do scan a site leave come back tell it to start mining leave come back then you know do what your rocket as you do fit and the reason i would recommend scan uh surveying of site is because at specific percentages for the survey you will get information you know based on composition size density richness and then you'll get a mining yield a mining boost yield so right now I'm at 1,000%, so that'll give me a 25% yield. So, you know, I'm going to get 3 from my base yield, plus that 257% from the richness, and then I'm going to add yet another, I believe, multiplicative 25%, so that this would be uh, closer to 10. Uh, and, of course, the final thing is the drill head. So I have... A, I have two ore miners so I'm just gonna turn one on and tell it to mine alright as you can tell this this head is spit, is fitted specifically with an ore mining head so it does get a bonus yield and you see I'm getting 12 ore from us from this site and so at this point you know I'm getting 12 ore each ore is this composition. So you can build up quite a lot of resources quickly with rocketry, and it allows you to target mine very specific things. Now, I know this intro has gotten very long, and I apologize for that. So this, this in a sense, allows you to go out and mine very, for very specific resources and then bring them back. Of course, you know, the big thing is bringing it back, and I'm going to cover the landing on a different section because it is that one is more in-depth. But in short, you tell your rocket to come back to your landing destination, you know, which your, which your auto landers turned on, it'll, it'll gradually land the rocket for you. So let's... This will be. This is basically the intro to how to use rocketry. So before we get too far into it, we're gonna go over how to build a rocket, how to make your fuel, what are the different engine performances, and what devices you could, you need to use for your rocket. Uh, in addition, I'm also gonna cover what you actually need printer-wise for building your own rocket. So hope to see you then. Uh, thank you, and you have a good day.